Hello everyone, welcome back to High Mathematics. Today we have an interesting limit. What is the limit as x approaches to plus zero of the function x times e to the power one over x? So first of all, we need to plug in zero. What we will have? We will have that this is the zero and e to the power one over x is going to infinity. So we will have zero times infinity. Zero times infinity is undefined, so we don't know what the values that represent and we need to simplify this expression right here. So how can we simplify this? First of all I want to suggest you a little bit trick right here. So we can write this limit as limit as x approaches to plus zero of the function e to the power one over x in our denominator and let's write this x as one over x in our denominator. So this will be the same because if you multiply in this, if you divide in this, we will have the same as right here. But what we'll see right here that we will have a really good case to use a L'Hopital's rule. So we can use a L'Hopital's rule right here. So we will have, we will use L'Hopital's rule and as a result we will have that this will be equal to the limit of x approaches to plus zero of derivative of our nominator e to the power one over x and dividing all over by d over dx 1 over x. So we need to find our derivative of our denominator and from our denominator. So this is a classic case. We all know that derivative of e to the power x will be e to the power x, but right here we have no x, we have 1 over x, so we need to write e to the power 1 over x. And because of the chain rule, we need to multiply by the derivative of e this 1 over x, which is equal to minus 1 over x square. And in our denominator, we will have a table case, we will have a classic rule, derivative of 1 over x will be equal to minus 1 over x square. As you can see, this one minus 1 over x square and this expression we can cancel. So as a result, we will have that this limit will be equal to limit as x approaches to plus zero of the function e to the power one over x. And if we plug in zero, we will have one over zero will be infinity. And as a result, we will have e to the power infinity. It is equal to infinity. So our limit is equal to infinity. And this is our answer. If you have any question, if you have any suggestion, maybe you have faster method how to solve it, write a suggestion in the comment, write a question in the comment. Thank you for watching and see you in the next videos.